when the children's corner got going and we you know angels rush in where or <laughs> it's just the opposite fools rush in where angels fear to tread and somebody said well, who wants to do a children's program and so Josie and I said well we'll do it and uh, I said well how long do you think we oh we'll do an hour a day well can you imagine producing an hour a day and so I just combed the the country for free films that we could put in and all we had planned to do was that Josie would sing some songs I would play the organ for her to sing and then she would introduce these films. I mean, we had such things as how you grow grass in, in New Hampshire or something that, <laughs> can you imagine the amount of material that you, you'd need for an hour a day? At any rate, the puppets, I think, saved us because, well, Daniel Tiger made his appearance that very first day but after a while, he became such a part of it because he and Josie would, Josie would talk with Daniel as if that was the only person in the room. I mean, it was just magical the way they would converse, and it was all ad lib. She would tell him her problems, and he would listen, and and so we thought, well, why don't we try some other characters? So the next one uh, that, that we tried was a king. Now, I had this king puppet at home. Of course, these, these big ones were all made later by the people at NBC. And that's another story when we would go to NBC on the weekends. But uh, the king came and he was very sad because he had lost his country. He said, I've lost my country, and I would like some suggestions as to uh, what my country would be. And his, his name was King Friday the 13th. We just thought that was fun because so many people are so superstitious about Friday the 13th that we thought, let's start children out thinking that Friday the 13th is a fun day, and every Friday the 13th would be his birthday. So we would celebrate his birthday every time a Friday the 13th came. And that's what was so wonderful about being live. Uh, when a Friday the 13th came, you knew it, and it wasn't on tape. At any rate, uh, I said to the people, uh, would you kindly suggest a name for my new country. And so the children would uh, write in what they thought the name of his country should be. And one little boy wrote in and said, well, if your name is King Friday the 13th, your country should be Calendar Land. So, yes, yeah, so that boy, uh, we called that boy and said, you may come to Calendar Land and I will make you a prince. And so he dubbed this boy Prince. And we did all sorts of things. Uh, and uh, if you'll excuse me, I have an important meeting. Yes, certainly. Excuse me, Karen. Yes. Here we're back to whimsy. 